Hey guys, welcome back to Jovan Rule 16. I am your host Jovan, and today we're off a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out for Horizon Forbidden West for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i3 1105 with the AMD RX Vega 56 8 GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16 GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory, and this is the big one, guys. This is what will make or break me with this one. I'm going to be very curious. I'm running at 1080p, but I do have FSR 2.2 on already set to quality. I will be taking that off shortly. We're running at the medium preset right now. And I'm actually going to turn off FSR. I don't actually need it at the moment. Oh, we just turned it off. Okay, straight up. I'm just going to turn that off real quick just to see. And we're going to uncap the frame rate because I want to see how this game plays at just medium settings on a Vega 56. That's not bad. That is not bad. It has to be pushing my CPU now though. So this is 1080p native 1080p medium settings. I'm gonna need you to die real quick. That is that is impressive. But we are dipping below all the same. So 1080p medium. It's kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for a bit more, but then again, I, I keep rem if I keep forgetting, I'm, I'm running at a native. I'm not doing FSR, so FSR probably helps a lot. But the problem is, I run into an issue here now where my CPU won't be able to. The game looks great, by the way. I just want to put it out. 1080p medium settings. This game looks amazing. I actually want to go up to high settings just to be curious because they said a 3060 Ti, I believe. Or 3060 or 3060A is for high, but the Vega, the Vega really does a lot of good work, man. And I'm gonna use FSR as well, so we'd be curious to see. And then I'm gonna try some custom settings. This is a good area to test this in. We're gonna actually do some sleuthing around right now, so bear with me for a moment. I'm actually going to add in FSR real quick just to see what FSR does. Okay, so FSR definitely keeps me over the 60 FPS mark. That 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 that. Okay, so it definitely does keep me over to 60 FPS. It looks like it'll still drop though. So that's interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go up to high settings. We're gonna actually turn off FSR again. And we're gonna go up to high settings. And see what high settings does. Does it crash the system? No, we've dropped frames. Okay, so even at 1080p high, we still are achieving our... F okay, now I'm gonna insert... Let's go. So this is 1080p natively high settings native. We're getting about over 40 FPS. That's that's great. Holy crap! The Vega surprises me, man. It really does. The Vega be working hard. Game looks gorgeous. I am getting no noticing some noise around everything though, even though I don't have FSR on. That's weird. It's a bit weird. Is that just my monitor? Is that? I'm trying to look through the. Oh wait, that, let me change my screen. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, no, that's better. That's way better. I just changed my monitor for those who did, don't notice. My brightness on my monitor looks way better now. So even at high settings, though, it looks good. And how about some FSR with it? We're getting about 42 just now. Hmm, interesting. Listen, now the CPU at some point the CPU is going to be a bit of an issue, which is why I'm I'm trying to to play it safe with the CPU. But it does seem like this is possible to run these types of systems without much issue. I must say I'm very shocked by that and happy at the same time. It's not every day you get to run these games at such high settings and it just it just runs, you know? But it's it's doing it. The Vega 56 dude is no slouch. The Vega 56 can put in the work, dude. I tell people stop sleeping on the Vega. The Vega be fast. <laughs> I, I would recommend 1080p medium. We're going to go back up top. You know what? I'm not even going to go up that side yet. We're going to go back to where we started. And I'm going to run, make that run again. But this time I'll do some optimal settings. And see what sticks for me. And see if well, we can leave it from there. I am noticing the noise around here, here a lot. It is, there is a bit of noise going on around here, so we're, let's, let's change around some, a few things. Let's drop the FPS real quick, let's just turn off that. Yeah, I am noticing the noise, there's a lot of it. But you can see all that f the fuzzy stuff around Eli, it's weird. So let's turn that off again. 
Maybe it's TAA. Definitely was the TAA. Yep, yeah, it was. The TAA was doing that. Crazy. Because 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 of that blur. Weird. Anyway, we're going to change some settings. So we're going to leave this at high. Carry this 16 times. I love that everything you can see everything in real time. Realistically, the shadows look the exact same. I saw no different there. We'll leave screen space on. Ambient occlusion. We'll also leave that on because that makes things look better. Uh, we'll leave it to low because obviously it does have an effect. Hair quality. We don't necessarily need Eloise here to be flapping around. Crowd quality. I can't see anyone right now, so it doesn't really matter. Water quality. I see absolutely no difference there. Clothes are always set to low. I can't. That's probably for more for cutscenes, if anything. Okay, I feel like that's better. So if you want to copy these settings, I feel like this is. This is pretty much how I'd go with it. And let's see what that does for me. That looks better. That looks better. Yep. There's no more noise. There was t definitely the TA doing it. Causing some blur effect. I I'm guessing SMAA probably he fixes that I issue with the image. Am I using FSR? No, I'm not. And we're not going to use the re dynamic resolution scaling. Although we probably should for this. If you want to keep it somewhere, but I think FSR here at this point, yeah, FSR just makes it look, it's back to looking this way again with FSR. It's just strange. I guess you can't see it from my, from your perspective on here. It's just my monitor, I guess. That doesn't monitor, just doesn't show the pictures as, as well, but let's go. I like these settings that I, I selected. I think these settings are good, and they, they were from the high setting preset. So I just changed around a few things. I do like how responsive it is, though. And it is running the game quite well. Yeah, because when I look across at my capture card, it looks way better than what I'm looking at currently. So you guys won't even notice what I'm I'm complaining about, unfortunately. It looks way better on my monitor when I look. Way better. But this is gonna be this is gonna be a. Gr but from what I'm saying, this is gonna be a great experience, even on the Vega. And because of the shader compilation that loads in early, it took about five minutes. I won't lie. And I've I've done tested this like on four four hard graphics cards. It takes about four minutes to do that sh that shader compilation. And then it just works, man. It doesn't really have issues after that. Nothing stutters or anything. It just works for me. But I'm really surprised this CPU can handle this to this degree. Like the CPU is really handling this. But yeah, as you can see, my CPU is being pushed. It's not like it's not being pushed, but... I'ma get ya! I'ma get ya! We're clear. Let's keep going. And it works! That is beautiful. That performed really well. I'm very happy with this performance. R realistically, you probably should use dynamic resolution for stuff. So that it probably just keeps switching around. It'll help you maintain things better. I feel that you'll struggle a bit more with dynamic simply because the CPU, the CPU is coming close to... The CPU is not a bottleneck, but it is coming close to being one. Anything higher end than the Vega 56, you're probably going to get a bottleneck, which is... Kind of crazy when I think about it. It looks like this is just the right graphics card, dude. It's a good pairing. It's a very good pairing. Because when you really need to push things, this really push. This really can handle it. And some areas, as you can see, my GPU is not being fully maxed out here. Put this back up again. Rivers and lakes choke your algae. You were born to fix all that. 
I like it because the averages are over 60 FPS. That's what they're telling me. And it seems like it. It definitely seems like it is running this well. But anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. If you guys enjoy seeing me test games like this on the yeah. channel. Guess we won't be going that way. Why not? I could have easily used my grapple hook. If you guys enjoy seeing me test games on the channel like this, I test them as soon as possible, sometimes quicker than others. Yeah, what what's the deal with that? Looks like some kind of meeting room. The door on the other side's locked. Cutscenes run well as well. Okay, now from this perspective the cutscenes look look quite good. This is good. Huh. Look at that. We're only using 11 gigabytes of RAM as well, and it's holding the VRAM well. Weapons. Seven gigs of VRAM. Thanks, Mom. 1080p is gonna be fine at high settings, and an i3 10th gen is capable of running this. They weren't joking when they, they had minimum uh, specs for uh, specs for the CPU, dude. Like the CPU is chilling. And then maybe I just, if you can draw this many frames, which I thought was going to be an issue. I'm being honest. I really thought that was going to be an issue. To it not be an issue is amazing. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a very big area here. Yep, frame rate dips here. Now here's a CPU bot on that. A lot's happening here. And even then... Still decent. I'll see you guys next time, man. This runs well. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yes. All those places I've been.